goddess today's topic is a little lighter by the end of it you will be introduced to a beautiful beautiful oracle deck that i quite like that i was gifted so let me put it back in the box for you it's already been unboxed but we'll pretend it's a deck review and unboxing and i think you'll love this deck so as i always talk about having some time where we listen to spirit and i have a video that's pretty popular about uh, it's called Spirit is Talking, but are you listening? So here's a deck that I think is wonderful for really tuning into, uh, into deep spiritual questions. Okay, it's an oracle deck. And it is by a woman named Denise Lynn. She's the best-selling author of Soul Coaching. And she is partly Native American. And let me show you a picture of her. I love this deck, you guys. I really, really like it because I typically don't do deck reviews very much, but I love this deck. Here's a picture of Denise Lynn. She had a very interesting story. I think in her teens somewhere, she was attacked out in the countryside. She was either on a bicycle or a motorcycle. She was out in the country and someone like tried to kill her and left her for dead. Brutally attacked her. Um, she lived. But that was like a turning point in her life. Um, she also has books related to sort of feng shui and clearing our home. But she's branched out from that. So Native Spirit, here's what the back looks like. And I love this deck. As I said, I've only had it like a week. Um, so I am not familiar with all the uh, meanings. But I've started playing around with it. And it gives very, very deep readings. I find, and when I recommend this for you, if you want a divination a deck, a deck that is very soulful and tells you literally what you need to do, okay, that is like what I do with my readings. You know, I still do readings. I just um, haven't been talking about them as much, but this is a deck that I definitely use, and it is very, very accurate. It's very nature-based, right? Native spirit, very nature-based. Uh, relating to Native American spirituality and I don't know because I'm restarting this video I don't know if I'd mentioned that she is part Native American so I'm just gonna show you some of them I'm just gonna hold them up and then maybe we'll do a draw and I'll read you the meaning so you can get a sense of how the guidebook how extensive it is and how it does its interpretations because I always think that's important too a lot of um, people don't share that so let's see dream traveler so the imagery i think is they're photographs but they've been altered either probably digitally altered spirit keeper of the north so it uses a lot of the native american um, directions relating to various things east west north and south having different qualities and energies can see the the colors are very saturated great mystery so it's a short caption but then the guidebook as I said is very very extensive I'm just gonna keep showing them to you so you can tell if you like them vision quest okay a lot of us have a sense of what that is talking stick it's a lot of beautiful blues right and beautiful imagery I'm going to jump into another part of it. Shuffled a little bit. Trickster. Sometimes we're tricking ourselves. Sometimes someone else is tricking us, fooling us, or we're being silly and fooling ourselves. Answering the call. Look at how beautiful that imagery is, you guys. Isn't that pretty? I really genuinely like this deck. As I said, I don't do a lot of deck reviews, um, but I wanted to share this with you. I also got another deck I was gifted with, but I actually like this one the best, Grandmother Earth. And what I like about this deck is it gives you what to do. It doesn't just sort of, oh, that's the meaning. It kind of gives you practices or what you can do to tune in. Eagle Medicine. I pulled this earlier today. This is a very deep card. And as usual, if you're starting even with Oracle cards, the best thing is to pull a card a day. 
if you have a question, pull one card or just pull a card in the morning and then see how the day goes. Read the card, of course, and then see how the day goes. Owl medicine. This is another very powerful card that I pull a lot. Owl is one of my uh, spirit allies. A lot of women pull owl. It has to do with almost being able to see in the dark. A lot of intuitives pull that. I hope you're liking the, the imagery. Smudging ceremony. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, so I don't want this to get too long. I'm just going to pull a card and then I'm going to read you the meaning. As I said, this deck is new to me. I have not memorized all the meanings. Um, some of them I'm already familiar with, but not all of them. And so this way you can tell if you like the guidebook and the language. So let's sit together and we'll take this as a message for this time and this moment. Breathe in and out. Om. You guys, I swear to God, I can't make this up. Eagle Medicine. The, one of the cards that I stopped on and said to you, I had drawn this earlier. <laughs> okay, do you see how spooky that is? Like I'm being, I'm saying spooky in terms of sarcastic. I pulled this card before I started filming videos today for you guys. I filled a batch of videos all at once. And I got this card. And it is a very high card and very positive. And literally, the video I made before mentions the wisdom of this card without showing the card. So Eagle Medicine, wow, and I pulled it again. Spirit, you guys, if you are tuned in, if you are truly tuned into Spirit, it will repeat messages. Because out of 44 cards, for me to shuffle, cards are face down and pull the same card that I pulled earlier, and I only pulled one card earlier. It's not like I pulled 10 cards earlier for myself and one of them repeated. I pulled one card earlier, and it was the same card. So this is a meta this is wants to come through. So I'm going to read it to you directly. The card meaning. So it first gives that, then it gives your native spirit wants you to know, and then it ends with the journey. So it gives you three different aspects of the card. So ego medicine. The meaning, profound connection to the creator and the heavenly realms. As the eagle soars high above the earth, it has the ability to see things from a higher perspective. Courage and stamina are filling your life. You have the ferocity to fight injustice, to right injustice, I should say, to right injustice and wrongs done to you or others. This is the time to face fear and overcome it, like an eagle, very powerful bird, obviously. Even just when you see an eagle, it just inspires awe, right? Your Native American spirit wants you to know. This is the next category. If the Eagle Medicine card has chosen you, you are at the advent of the opportunity to truly see life from a rarefied vantage point. Rarefied means it usually implies high, but it like the word rare, like an unusual vantage point that is very clear uh, is part of what rarefied means. Eagles are considered one of the most sacred of all birds in many tribes and cultures. Their single-minded fierceness, dynamic energy, and ability to soar high are part of the reason for this. This card reminds you to take heart and face fear. Face fear. You do indeed have the strength to overcome any adversity. You also have a direct line to the Creator. Your prayers are heard and will be answered in accordance with your highest good. You have the capacity to channel extraordinary life force energy through your hands. And you guys know I do hands-on healing. And fi the final piece that it gives you is the journey. So the journey is like a what to actually do. So the journey for this card, for Eagle Medicine, is go on an inner journey and imagine you are an eagle. Feel the power of your wings, the clarity of your eyesight, and the power of your talons. As you do this, be aware of the energy of the majestic eagle filling you. So all are part of great spirit, the creator, God's divine creation, and we are not separate from that. We can, and all of our ancestors did know, we are interconnected with all of life. We are not separate, we're not machines, we are interconnected 
Uh, it's funny now we have the internet. That's funny because that's almost a metaphor of how we are as humans. We are a living biological internet. We're all connected. I'm going to end on that note and I will put a link if you would like to purchase this deck. Check it out. Um, the link will be to Amazon. And thank you for your support of this channel. If you buy it through my link, it's an affiliate link, um, I get probably like 35 cents or something if you buy it at no charge to you and no like extra charge, okay? So let me know if you have this deck or if you recommend another one, but I feel like this gives really deep messages. You can see they're not superficial. They're very, very deep messages. So love this native spirit deck. Namaste, be well, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. And Goddess, the link for the Chakra Course for Women Healing Money, Sex, and Power Issues starts May 5th. The registration is open right now. And so I would love for you to join us. It's a virtual class, and we meet Sunday evenings at 7 Eastern Standard Time. And we have a lovely time creating sacred space and healing with energy medicine and sacred practices to heal under earning intimacy issues and power issues i would love to have you in the course stay blessed namaste